a whole treat for you guys today. We're back. Let's just say if there's one thing I've learned in HVAC is to always take everything in stride and don't back down from any job. Here we got a Voyager unit. Pretty sure this is a seven ton unit. Now I have never done a Voyager unit myself, personally. I've seen it done. So here we're taking out every screw that we can. Man, there must have been 50 to 100 screws in this thing. Taking out these side uh, panels to get access to the three different sides. Here we got our evaporator and blower side, your heat exchanger side, and your compressor side. In the blower side right now, trying to get the baffle out from the top. There's screws everywhere. I mean, it's so easy to just forget a screw. As you see, I, I, I'm just learning as I go, trying to figure out which way it is right. Angle bit is needed in HVAC, and I can't stress that enough. The blower wheel housing right there. I ended up using a, a, a close angle with a flathead. That seemed to do the trick for me instead of having to pull that whole blower wheel out. Still took a little bit of wiggle room to get in there, but we got it done. You may want to give up at times like that, but don't. Crack that gas and get it moving. Yeah, this is this is one thing about HVAC, man. You may do a job one time in your career, but just know that you figured it out and you can figure out anything, man. Get all these wires out of here. They got a air scrubber in there, so I'm getting that wire from across there, running that back down through. Getting them wires through the Louvre, I think they call it. Louvre. Through there. Get the, get every screw that you think is going to hold you up. Just get it right on out of there. Well, can't forget about those screws all the way in the back. That This is on a side wall. Straight against the unit. So we're trying to get these screws out. It proves more pif difficult than easy. We're about two feet back there. As you'll see, I'm on a side discharge. There's there's no access to the other side. It's pinned in and building. Trying to get it from each way. Can't really pull the top all the way off, as you'll see later. Nailed the elbow. We got battle scars already. Trying to get these extensions. I thought I was going to be able to be slick and get them screws out, but it just was not. It wouldn't hold. Every time I tried to turn it, it just spazzed out on me. And then I tried to do it by hand with a, you know, just a, just a nut runner in my angle bit, and that did not work. So. Here's me just trying everything I can before I actually hop in that unit, which I had to do. Again, this would all be a lot easier if you can take the top off the whole unit. You could climb in there and do all your due diligence and everything you need to. We're going to try to get this out of here. This, is, this proved, I don't know what was harder, trying to pull this thing out or put the new one in. It was wedged in there so good. And it's moments like these. It's like, man, am I really doing this? But you know you got a whole facility there that needs their air conditioning. This front office needs their air conditioning. And are you going to be the guy to go in there and say, hey, man, I just can't do it. I, I, don't, I just physically can't do it. No, 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 no. We need to be the, the I, I'm going to figure it out. Can't means won't. And uh, in my book, that just means you don't want to do it. So I'm going to rip it out of there. <laughs> She's coming home with me. Look at this thing. Flexing all give out. 
on this video there i didn't have a video of the holes but b believe me yeah this is for the birds it was definitely golf ball size holes so we're still working it out we're working it out i'll tell you right now guys the next one I do will be a lot easier. You got to go through this struggle to get to the fruits. Okay. It's coming out. I know it. It's coming. It's coming out right now. This is where you kind of just, just pray for everything, man. Just come out. What's it going to take you to get out of this thing? What do I got to do? These are all thoughts that are running through your head, man. Like, and then it just pulls. It pulls. I don't know, man. That rude ream is right there with it. Now, a lot of questions about my method here with using a Sawzall to cut these uh, runners out and uh, cut the box open. This is not your average cardboard, man. This is like double wall, triple wall thick cardboard. Sawzall did me just fine, man. So as you can see, this is completely built into the unit. No getting it from the back like we like. And like I said, getting it in was almost as hard as getting it out. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was a true struggle. These are things you just need to like take a breath, take a beat, drink some water, and get it done. Well, now you didn't really see me do it. But get this thing tilted back, put them feet on. We're definitely learning the hard ways today, folks. Should have replaced. <coughs> All right, we got everything in. Now, mind you, you can't get to that side discharge. It's all boxed in. They built it on the unit. Everything is in there, nice and secure. We're gonna test fire it. We're gonna fire it just like this. Let all that smoke come right up out of there. Up out of there. So, let's go. All right, we're, we're heating. That was a lot of fun, guys.